Hey, this is an introduction to a vertical divider. So let's see, we created on our Weebly page some elements, a title, a text element, and then beside we dropped an image, which created a column. As you can see, when I hover here, we can see the column, which by the way, you can move to the left or right or whatever. And by holding shift, we will center that more or less. So what we would like to do is we would like to add a border, actually. We're not, unlike the, unlike the divider element from Weebly that you can see here, the horizontal divider, the vertical divider is not an element on itself. What it is is when you drop it inside of a column, it gives you the option to create a border on that column. So when you take the element, make sure to not drop it below, beside, or, or there is no reason to create an additional column either. Not above, not inside, it, sorry, inside. It obviously needs to go inside of one of the columns. So either the one of the text or the one of the image. Let's go with the, I don't know if it's more logic. I will leave that up to you on the left one, on the left side. So when adding in the vertical divider on the left, you will need to add your border, as it is called here, the border on the right side. If you would add it on the left, it would appear here. But we wanted it on the right because we wanted to separate our, separate our content from our image. So going over some styles, color, pretty obvious. Let's give it a pinkish color right here. And the border type, which can be dashed and dotted. Also pretty obvious in my opinion. And for you as well, I'm pretty sure. So next, a little bit more complicated, though still easy. So what these uh, additional options are, a responsive display. So what can you do with responsive display? First, you need to understand, of course, that your columns at a specific uh, window width will become blocks. So they will become full width. So this image will appear right under our text, under our description or whatever you want to call it. And once we have uh, our block, we don't want the divider to be anymore on the right doesn't make sense to have uh, on your mobile phone for example a right divider on the, on uh, a divider on the right of your text right so then you have the options to say that you can either add the divider and display it at the top at the bottom or completely hide it as default i believe it is set to the bottom at the bottom and let's go ahead and check what it looks like So now when we look at this, you can see that the divider is at the right of the column, playing correctly. And when you resize your browser, by default, Weebly column elements will become full with blocks at 700, 767 pixels. So I don't know if you can see here at the right top, when we resize, the pixel width will, be get, will become smaller. You see we're now at 900 and then when we reach 767 the divider will become visible at the bottom boom dang boom and you can see it here at the bottom now you got uh, additional options of course you can either add it at the top i believe adding it at the, at the top would make more sense if your divider would be added in the image element but if for some reason you want to add it at the top anyway at that screen size you can still do that boom and now it's at the top and the last option you can do of course is completely hide it as well so instead of at the top we'll just hide it and we'll publish again and now we need to resize and now we'll resize it and now when we resize and we reach our breakpoint at 767 pixels the divider will simply disappear magically magically so another thing of course is that uh, you can you also have the option of setting that uh, pixel width when that responsive display needs to be triggered uh, it is set at 767 pixels by default, but maybe you want to add it at, at a larger uh, screen size or uh, I don't know. So for example, if we set this to 1000, it is already hidden. We don't want that. Let's 
let's say we were at the bottom and then you can see that it's here at the bottom as well if for some reason you would like to add it at the bottom and now you can see here your divider is appearing at the bottom so this was the introduction of the vertical divider i hope you can get good use out of it and feel free to download it for free